What's up, everybody? Ben here. Uh, just one more progress update on this uh, Razor Pro R Ultimate Four Seater for America's Oasis build. Um, last video was just kind of a walk around after I got it back from ABF, and um, now I'm back in uh, Wanoka, and I've got the got the wheels and tires on it. That's the biggest visual difference, of course. Um, and then a few other things, got my headsets on. Um, yeah, I'm about to put a Axia fire extinguisher on, but I'm missing the clamp, so I gotta go get that. And um, put the whips on, antenna on, flag on, and uh, changed, let's see, I put a new air filter in it. Uh, a few little random things. And then I went on a uh, little shakedown, little test run. Had a couple of guys with me for work and we decided to go for a rip. And um, so it, was, it felt good, it felt good. It was a good, good running car. Had to uh, just check a few things before I started loading up, getting ready to go to Glamis, but thought it was a good opportunity. I want to talk about the tires. Um, so the uh, System 3 SS360, you've seen more and more of these tires, I guess, the past few years. They came out with 30s, which I've never had, and then they had some 32s. And I've had a couple of sets of the 32s I'll talk about, but, um, these are actually the 35s. And um, I chose this tire because it's it's a sand tire, which of course we have a lot of uh, in, in uh, Wanoka, Little Sahara State Park, and America's Oasis is, is a sand place. Obviously we have sand like right out the door, look at there. But, um, but, also, like you can drive them on a road, um, pavement they're not great for, but still, if it's better than like a big choppy paddle. So um, this particular car, this particular Razor, like I've talked about before, it is branded for the company and it's gonna be used, um, like we're gonna drive it up on the patio, it'll be used for certain events and things like that and a lot of marketing and, and uh, there'll be different staff driving it at different times. So I just wanted a more versatile kind of all around tire that was also good for the sand dunes. And um, that's why I chose the System 3 SS360s again. They make a 33 inch now, which I think I've only seen like one set of those, but the 32s were real popular. Um, and I wanted to just briefly talk about the differences. So this was the first set of System 3 SS360s I had. Um, these are 32 by 12s on a 15 inch wheel that go in the back and then 32 by 10s on a 15 inch wheel that went in the front. And this was the first set that I had on Brooklyn's YXZ. Uh, we call that fire. And um, I had them cut. Uh, they were race cut when I bought them or comp cut when I bought them. I cut them. I think I got these from Duneland, and uh, as you see, they cut them pretty deep. Uh, you can see the bands or the cords on on every bit of the carcass for the rears, and then the fronts, the carcass is cut deep, but they also cut off every other paddle. So these were extremely light tires um, and uh, worked fine on that uh, YXZ as, as a low boost car. However, we had reliability issues. I had a puncture, things like that. And then we built this car with more power. So I went ahead and upgraded to the SS360, same size, but I got the HP version. And the difference is it's a taller paddle tire. So the paddle itself is taller. Sorry, I wasn't focused. Uh, so it's these are the HP. So it's the same size, same number of paddles and everything, but it's taller. I don't know the official measurements. It's on the website, but it's like a twice the, the height of paddle in the back versus the uh, the non HP models. And um, I had a local guy named Alan uh, cut them. He does. He has the the hot knife and he does uh, he tire grooving. And uh, it, it didn't take out as much, which was nice. I was happy to keep the reliability so the, the cords aren't showing. And um, the, uh, 
you know, significant weight loss doing it that way. And then in the front, again, same size as I had before, 32 by 10 in the front, but didn't cut as deep. Um, so the cords aren't showing, uh, still lost a lot of weight, and we kept all the paddles. So as you see, every single paddle is on there um, instead of missing every other one like they were before. So they're not quite as light as they were before, but much more reliable. And um, ultimately we have the ability to put down more pa power to the ground with all the paddles up front and bigger paddles in the back. So this leads us to the, um, the new 35s that I put on this new Razor uh, Pro R four seater. It's a big car, heavy car. And um, I wanted to maintain the, li the reliability and more or less be able to go all terrain. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna go climbing rocks and running through the sticks on it, but if you're on trails or if, you, if you're in dirt or if you're on pavement or like Creechy Road or something, it's gonna be fine with these tires. I'm not gonna cut them, or at least not right now. So they're gonna keep the full, full, uh, full carcass um, so they're, they're not heavy, but they're not really a lightweight tire this way. And uh, something I really wanted to point out is the 35s, um, the sizes are, are different. So it's still a 15 inch wheel, 35 inch diameter, but instead of a 10 in the front, they offer 11s. And instead of a 12 in the rear, these are 13s. And then one other difference is they don't offer two different paddle sizes. So the previous 32s, you know, they may, and I think the 33s, they had a regular version and then they had the HP version with the thicker or, or bigger, bigger paddles. But on the 35s, they only make one paddle size and it's because it's in between. So this paddle is not quite as tall as the HP versions but it is taller than the non-HP versions. The actual me measurements are on their website. And I mean, I'm, I'm just guessing here, but I think it's like, you know, three eighths versus uh, uh, the HP is like a half inch or, or maybe it's a five eighths or something like that. And then this is a half inch or whatever their measurements are. But the point is, is that it's an in-between size. So you get the in-between height paddles, front and rear, with the 35-inch models. And it is a slightly wider tire. It's one inch wider, according to their measurements. So I haven't put a measuring tape on any of it, so I don't know how true their, their measurements and dimensions are. But long story short, you get a much bigger diameter, and you get a little bit bigger paddle, and you get a little bit more width versus the regular models. Um, so uh, this is a 32 versus a 35 side by side on the fronts. So you can tell that the 35 is significantly taller um, than this 32. Um, and uh, which obviously, you know, it's supposed to be three inches bigger. So it should, should be significantly taller. I know the perspective is playing with the camera angle here, but you get the point. It is obviously a taller tire. It is obviously wider. Um, you know, front versus front, rear versus rear, and the paddles are bigger. So anyways, that's, that's why I chose to put these tires on the uh, Razor Pro R four seater um, for, uh, for, for America's Oasis is because it's kind of a versatile all around tire. You just pretty much have to run in four wheel drive when you're out in the sand dunes. Uh, these wheels are Metal FX wheels. So when I bought this uh, razor, I bought it used, actually kind of a trade deal with a uh, with a uh, another duner that comes to Little Sahara often, and he had these wheels with some like Blackbirds on them, and that that's a good good setup. The Blackbird Thirty Two, uh, it's a good setup for for this car. I just didn't want that big of a paddle in the back, and so. Um, uh, I kept the wheels. Uh, the, that wheels came in the in the trade deal, and I uh, just powder coated the rings, and then um, so he got those from Little Sahara Sand Sports before, and then I went you know back to Little Sahara Sand Sports and got these System Three tires mounted on the old wheels. So, 
in a roundabout way, these wheels and tires both came from Little Sahara Sand Sports, uh, as did these wheels came from Little, or excuse me, these tires came from Little Sahara Sand Sports. And so um, they're a good, good local Wanoka source for, uh, you know, wheels and tires. And um, I've been happy with their, their products and service so far. So um, that's really it for, for wheels and tires. That's the biggest change here, but also did a little shakedown. And, and uh, now I'm going to start loading this puppy up. And by the way, this is a shop I've been working on. If you follow my blog, I've talked about moving a lot of my UTV and off-road stuff from, from Texas to Oklahoma. And uh, we're still working on it. That's why there's just like random appliances laying around and doors and stuff, paint cans. So we're still working on it, of course, but you, it's starting to take some shape and I'm actually moving my storage totes and stuff. You might recognize those and a lot of the tires and off-road oriented parts from uh, from my Texas shop to Oklahoma. So we'll do more on that later, especially on the blog. That's what that's for. But um, that's, uh, that's it. This, this Pro R four seater is looking, looking pretty sweet. And uh, hopefully the next update on this thing will be some more goodies and uh, some riding footage from Glamis, California. See you next time. Like and subscribe.